Hello everyone and welcome to February's Paper Gang unboxing. I am so so excited about this month's box as I accidentally saw online that this month's box would be Year of the Tiger themed which I'm a Year of the Tiger baby so I just felt like this box was made for me specifically and I also accidentally saw that I think there's temporary tattoos in here, which someone was complaining about, but I'm excited to see. First things first, this month's box. This is only my third box from this subscription, but this month's came a bit battered. So if we look this side, she got like squished and a bit ripped. Um, yeah, so that was a little sad to see. It looks kind of like dark here because it's been kind of battered at the front as well so hopefully nothing inside is damaged and by the sound of it i feel like we have some pencils or something in here i would just like to say i think the design of this box is absolutely beautiful i love the tigers i love that they're pink and red the gold metallic the flowers i think it is so pretty it's giving valentine's and year of the tiger which is obviously the intended theme and i love it Alrighty. Let's rip her open and hopefully I do a better job this time. New from the future here to say, since I'm posting this video so late, I did not unbox it late, I unboxed it the day I got it, but life got in the way and now it's being posted super late. I've decided at the end of the video, I'm gonna do an overview slash review of my Paper Gang subscription and let you know if I think it's worth it. That's gonna be stuck on the end. Okay, back to the unboxing. Oh, I always struggle with this part. There we go. Hello, stationary lover. Hello, paper gang. Okay, let's open her up. Oh, it's so red and pretty. Okay, I'm not gonna look at this. Okay, that was easy. Okay, let's open her up. Oh my god, I see pretty things. Okay, I like what I'm seeing. Oh my god, that's the scissors, definitely. Okay. First, this cone-looking thing that obviously has a scissors inside. Okay. This is a nice scissors. I'll be honest, it feels very flimsy, but it sounds nice. This looks like the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I see a dent. Okay, I'm seeing that the screw on the scissors is, like, denting this, which has in turn dented my little writing pad, which is sad. Hey, this is a little writing pad. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Okay, so obviously it has been severely dented by the scissors. And I don't know if this is a printing issue, but it has some marks on it. Ooh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the dent has gone all the way through. Okay, yeah. Okay, not all the way, like the first couple of pages. Oh, isn't that design beautiful? Nice. Next, oh my goodness, these must be the temporary tattoos. <laughs> Let me have a look. You know, I don't think these are too bad. They're cute. I think I would prefer if these were stickers. That would probably be more useful for a lot of people. But these are cute tattoos. I'm not too mad about that. Um, then we have a matching gold pencil sharpener. Some pencils like I suspected. Oh, there's messages on them. Let's see. I'm confident. I'm unpredictable. I'm a tiger. I don't know if you can tell, but my pencil is... um Like, dented. These two look fine. Just the red one. The black one and the red one particularly give me Lunar New Year vibes. So they're nice. And then this. Oh, last time we had a cotton bag, it was full of paper clips. This one has a really cute embroidery on it. So let's see what's inside. I don't know what that is. I can't see. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I'm not too impressed with these. They're just like paper holders hmm the bag is nicer this time though i was just about to set everything up for a little overview of the box and i noticed that this clip is literally chipped it's the only one but it's not great so here's everything that was in this month's box i have to say 
I would have loved for this month for there to be a print. Just these illustrations in a print I think would have been beautiful. I would have loved that. And just since my other two boxes have had prints, I was kind of expecting it. Yeah, I will say the design of these two I absolutely love. This is useful. I just wish it wasn't so battered. The scissors. Yes, I will use the scissors, but I'd rather have something more fun. I guess maybe it's for cutting out my temporary tattoos. These I'm disappointed. Like, I, I don't use stuff like this. So these disappointed the scissors pretty disappointed the pencil sharpener makes sense with the pencils again give us like a fun item not just practical the pencils i would say i would use but honestly i don't know if i will because when i'm writing it's pen i mean i guess i'll have to sharpen them and see if they're good pencils i could use them for drawing in conclusion i prefer february's box to january definitely this is just more my style but am i overly impressed no not really i would probably give it maybe a five out of ten because i do love these all this stuff I could do without. Well, that's only two good products out of one, two, three, four, five, six. She isn't even half. But you know, obviously, those are just my opinions. Everyone has their own opinions. Okay, now let's look at our little leaflet. Beautiful design. A5 notepad. Temporary tattoo sheet. HB pencil set. Set of, of bulldog clips. Scissors. Pencil sharpener. Okay, let's see who the artist is. Here we are. Oh, there's no picture of the artist. Um, Year of the Tiger, Chinese Lunar New Year. Let's open this up. Okay, so what we have, the artist... Wait, hang on, I'm like, is this... Did they interview the artist, or is this Year of the Tiger? Let me quickly scan through this. Okay, so it doesn't look like they've interviewed the artist or taken a picture of them. That's interesting. Here you can see which animal you are. And then a make your own paper garland. Okay, for this garland you will need a scissors. Maybe that's why they gave us a scissors. Oh, hang on, I think there's... Oh, I like this. You have all these shapes to cut out and then you can make a garland. I really like these. That's weird that there's no interview with the artist or picture. I don't know if that's the first time they've done that, but it's the first time I've seen it. Interesting. How do I fold this back? And that is February's ball. Alrighty. Here is a three month paper gang subscription, AKA 40 pounds worth of a subscription, not including postage, which right now on the website is 1745 extra, which is 595 per month. However, for my country, it should only be 495. So if you're planning to buy, just double check they're charging you the correct shipping. And yes, here they are. As you can see, they're obviously all beautiful, beautiful boxes, very aesthetic, very gorgeous all in their own way. And now let's have an overview of everything we received. And here we have what was inside each box. And just to be clear, this is May's box of last year. It was the first box selected for me in the subscription. This is January and this is February. So here are the seven items I am very happy with slash love or will at least have a functional use for. We have two prints, funky temporary tattoos, a simple writing pad, a scissors, sticky notes of a good size, and a pretty sticker. Versus the remaining 11 items that personally are just not things I'm probably going to end up using, such as planners, pencils, calligraphy pens, paper clips, tiny sticky notes, this sticker I could end up using, you know, maybe I'd move this sticker to the stuff that I love. So, 10 versus 7, I think. Now, with this stuff, I don't see myself using, don't get me wrong. Like, these are gorgeous planners. The sticky notes are also beautiful. The pencils are gorgeous, but they're just not for me personally. Like, for example, if I was still in school, these pencils, I would love to straighten my pencil case, head into maths class with my pair to do some sums. These clot bags, I will repurpose and find a use for, so I don't mind them, just the contents of inside I'm not too happy with. And like I said, the planners are gorgeous, they're just not something I personally use. Now, all that rambling, to conclude, would I recommend a Paper Gang subscription? I feel this is a very subjective thing, depending on what type of stationery you use. However, I think Paper Gang as a gift 
is very good as obviously the person receiving the gift especially if you do quarterly like this you give them the first box they think wow what a beautiful present thank you and then they continue to get a present for the next two months who wouldn't enjoy that and they would just be excited to receive and unbox it and obviously they wouldn't be thinking oh am i getting value for my money because obviously they didn't pay for it they're just excited to open a gift whereas i think for personal use you obviously are more critical and you're more aware of is this worth what i paid so i think for a gift it's excellent for yourself it depends and i do think maybe it's a better idea to just go online because you can't individually buy their boxes from the odier store so maybe if you like the concept but you're fussy perhaps about what you use could just be better to see the boxes and then go online and just choose individual ones for yourself but i do think it's a very fun gift and i did enjoy my subscription anyways i just want to say thank you so much for watching and being part of my channel if you would like to subscribe i'd be very happy to have you here and thank you for watching this video and hopefully i'll see you in the next one goodbye